Welcome back, guys. I am L7. This is RimWorld Alpha 17. We're here for a little bit more of our Feudal Japan with potential for vampire playthrough. So, of course, I slept in a little late today, and because I teach from essentially noon to 10 p.m. today, a little bit more pressed for time, but let's see what we can get done. Let me hit space, get people running there. Um, I'm not actually sure what we're working on next, to be honest. Um... We've got our main stuff done. We haven't really had an opportunity for new people in the party at all, have we? We haven't had visitors to recruit, despite our beautiful bedroom. Uh, we haven't had anybody who survived raids that we wanted. We haven't had any crashed pods or anything. It's a little interesting. Tiberius, what do you normally do and why aren't you doing it? Uh, you do some handling, but we're not got any of that queued up. Negotiate. Cooking, hunting, construction, plant cutting. I'm sure we've got some cleaning and stuff to do. I guess we could also give you a super low level uh, research at the end of the day. Doesn't hurt to have it. Chris is usually going to be at that table, but that's okay. We don't have to keep people running every second of the day. We do have some mining that needs to be done, but not a huge priority. And uh, who is our miner? We've got a couple people with some mining. CBA doesn't mind mining either, so let's go ahead and give him a low priority mine at the end of the day. I don't know again how often he'll hit that. Um, Raptor is supposed to be our miner, but we also have him as our grower. I wonder if we were to maybe knock that down a little bit. So we have grow construct right now. Um, I'd like to keep construct fairly high. Uh, CBA growing would be number one. So I think what I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to go mine one grow two plant cut two thresh three polish four all clean cook handle art i think and that should hopefully get us some more mining done and i, I think that'll be okay i think we've got a, a good enough handle on the growing right now that is not really a huge deal we may want to put plant cut up on top of mine just to make sure stuff gets harvested on time. And in fact, I am going to do that. Um, one, two, three, four. Whoops. So we'll grow, thresh, polish, then construct. Now I'm going to move construct back up to two. If there's construction to do, he can do it. I think that's fine. So one, those two, three, thresh, polish, four. There we go. And now we're getting some of that mining done. That's good. Now we did have a little bit of food rot away in storage, but that's okay. Um, we can live with that. We make probably a little bit more than we need to, but that's because we have all the ingredients right now. If we don't necessarily have all the ingredients and we're relying on just one meal source, um, we might not. Semi-aquatic rice is done, so now we can develop rice patties. So let's first of all, let's come here and figure out what we want to do next. I think we need to be able to make uh, complex clothes next, so we can... Uh, there we go. I think that is the obvious next. But now let's take a look at what we need to do to do um, rice patties. So we have a few extra things here. Patty field. Normal type, not normal type. Can be installed other than water side. Can only be installed in mud, wet, and shallow. Okay, so we want this one. And I need chafe charcoal and compost. So we're gonna have to start adding that to our list. And do we do that here? Add bill, I need...
But we know we need compost. So let me add that. Outer hall. Hmm. Um. Where was the patty? I've lost it. Here it is. Hmm, I can't hit I on it. So I need chafe charcoal, and I'm not sure if that is... Because all of this was written in Japanese, and then different people have, have um, translated it, translations aren't always, as far as I can see, exact. We're not always referring to things exactly the same way. So this outer hall is probably what we're talking about. So if we wanted to make, say... Uh, how big is that spot? Zone, where's our plan? So that's 44 squares, right? 4 by 11. Um, I can remove that. That would mean that we would have to build... Got a text message. One second. Might be work. Oh... Not important in this case, at least not for me. Oh, all right. Um, look, where the heck was that um, architect? There we go. Oh, wait, so we needed, what, 30 of that? So 30 times 44, so a lot. <laughs> uh, so for every row, essentially, we need 330 chafed charcoal and compost. Okay, we can do that, I think. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, it's per square. I know we've, I need 44 squares, so we'll just do it 44 times, right? Um, here, let's just check details. And we will go. Something like that. <clears throat> and, and same way over here. Uh, close. Let's see. Now we do have these icons here that I normally don't pay much attention to. Um, I think we're just going to drop those on the floor. I think all of these we're just going to drop on the floor. As they get done, they can get moved later. Okay. Outer Chal Hork. I can't talk, but we're going to do the same thing here. Minus that down to 44. Oh, wait. No, that's 50 times. We don't need that nearly as many times. Huh. Let's do... Let's do 15. Let's do... I don't want to do the math right now, but let's just do 15 initially. And uh, we'll see where that leaves us, and we can do more as we need to do more. And then I'm going to mock these up to the top. And uh, we'll get that done. I mean, I guess we could make it 100, and then I could do you know, whatever. But I think we'll just do this for now. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Now, we do need to make sure that somebody does do that. So we need to make sure that we have crafting knocked up a little bit. Because right now, we don't, we do very little crafting. Um, and let's see, what does Tiberius normally do? I th I'm thinking maybe Tiberius, because we're not doing a lot of hunting right now. We're not doing a lot of plant cutting. He does do some cooking. But I think we're going to move crafting up to an equal two. Well, if we do those kind of equally. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to make cooking three, crafting four, handling five, cleaning six, seven, eight, nine. Hopefully that will get us some crafting done. And then we'll be able to grow our semi-aquatic rice in a patty. <clears throat> and we'll just keep upgrading. I say we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll make this a patty and then we'll, we'll, we'll change it. Uh, what do we got? We got our tobacco plant just about in too. I think I already have a job built for cigarettes. I do. We have a tribal wear and a short bow somewhere kicking around. And that's great. Uh, I did build some extra deals there. Just because I thought they looked cool. They might add to the uh, 
to the wealth of the room and make people a little happier about that. Um, so we're slowly getting there. I'm still not seeing any crafting done. Who did we say was supposed to do all that? Uh, Chris. So what's Chris doing? Holland Hay. Oh, now he's researching. Is he the researcher? Did I completely screw that up? No, I'm looking here. Uh, crafting. Four. It's supposed to be Tiberius. So he's cutting stone. Oh, so he's cutting stone blocks right now. Um, are we not getting... Oh, it's because of this right here. Let's check our roofing. I don't know if, if it's because we... Yep, we ended up with this extra bit of roof here that we don't want. That was an accident. There we go. Let's clear that. So we're not growing in that shade right there. That's the problem. That'll fix that. Okay. So Tiberius comes back here. He's working on this. I think what we're going to do is, because we have a fair amount of blocks built up at the moment, I don't, I don't have a specific purpose in mind. I mean, at some point we need to upgrade this to stone so it doesn't all burn down to do something like this. But I think I'd like to get this patty done first. So I think I'm going to go ahead and suspend this job. And then we'll follow Tiberius around and see, okay, instead he's going to make cigarettes. <laughs> We've just got so much crafting queued up that hadn't been getting done uh, that we weren't getting to it, essentially. I, I was considering moving this here, but because most of the ingredients are going to be here, I think I'm just going to leave this crafting spot there in the kitchen. And then we'll just kind of have to go for it. Um, Go ahead and harvest the, the hay that was growing in there for the chickens. We do still have all five of our chickens. Uh, we have been getting eggs. I don't know how many, but I, I've noticed that some roll through. And that's all I'm really looking for right now. It was just a supplement to uh, what we were doing. Uh, I thought it'd be cool to, to, to mix in the, uh, the eggs for because I knew there was a recipe that was eggs and rice. Now, what we could do, obviously, we could go ahead and knock this down to where we're just doing the sea salt one, right? Because then we know exactly how much we have. We can more accurately control our cooking. Because you can see right now, uh, we'll do up to 20 of these, up to 20 of these, up to 20 of these. Plus, we'll do Gaiudin forever, which is essentially, I think that's the meat one, right? Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off. Well, we've paused it anyway, but I think I'm just going to delete simple meals because the idea was if I had meat but I didn't have rice, that we'd at least make something. Uh, but we're not ever going to be at a point now where we have meat but no rice. I think so. We can. That was just early on while we were waiting for those first fields to come in. Uh, I think we're fine getting rid of that now. Um, and this one is, which one is this? This is uh, the, the chicken eggs, the unfertilized. We don't do a lot of this because we don't have a lot of eggs. So I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, we'll leave that up there. Like I said, we'll do it when we have them, but we're not going to have a bunch. This we have a fair amount of. Uh, we probably don't, oh, that's just the sea salt. So I think this is the one that uses the sea salt, right? Yeah. Um, so generally, this is going to be what we have. Then when we get some eggs, we'll go ahead and make a little bit of this. If we do some hunting, we'll do a little bit of this. But we can... We can control these based on, you know, how much of this other stuff we bring in. So I think we're okay. I think we'll just sit with what we have for now. Essentially, we're going to have up to 20 meals made at a time. And that's about it. We can we can clear that finally because we are done with that. Uh, what's Tiberius working on? Uh, it's hauling hay. That's fine. Got to get this stuff done. Like I say, getting the food out of the fields and stuff is <clears throat> is probably the priority. Okay, maybe he just went to his room to... Oh, he's cleaning. Ah, I'd like to turn down the cleaning for him at this point. I'd really rather he'd be crafting. Uh, what is his What is his cleaning at? 6 and 7. Hmm... I'm not sure why he was taking time to clean when there's clearly other things that are higher priority. I'll leave it. I don't know why it was doing it. 
we'll just kind of have to move on with our lives. Now, does it tell us what type of job this is? Is this a, like a cooking job or something instead? Requires craft. No, it's a crafting skill. And anybody can do it. Requires crafting of three. Uh, how about this one? Requires crafting of three. And I, I think he has that. Uh, work, Tiberius. Maybe he doesn't. No, it's crafting is five. He's fine. Everybody we have queued up for crafting will do it. We may just have to tell him to do it. I mean, that's what it comes down to. <clears throat> you know, you can't prioritize this over this crafting over this crafting, short of just turning stuff on and off. Um, so we'll just have to see how that goes. My phone is continuing to... <clears throat> I have a friend who's getting married, and she's asking questions about cameras. Um... I don't know for the wedding or just general purpose, um, but there's something that can wait till after we finish the video. I think she's not getting married today, so <clears throat> we'll see. Maybe she disagrees with my priorities. It's entirely possible. Now I was too busy to help with your wedding. I was playing video games today. All right, so there we, we did get some eggs, so we should make some of that. And you can see we are in fact making up some of those. Um, and what is Tiberius doing right now? He's researching. Why don't you do this instead, Tiberius? Why can we not... Okay, so he will do that. Why will he not work here? Hmm. Now I'm confused. Because he won't work there, which means he doesn't think it's a crafting job. It's not something he thinks he's supposed to be doing. But he's really set up to do everything. I mean, there's nothing on this list that he's not doing. Except threshing and polishing. Uh, he's not going to grow or mine, but neither of those clearly are, are it. It's not art. Well, I guess we could find out. Let's see if we could get... Um, what's CBA doing? Let's see if we get CBA to do it. No, he won't do it. Will anybody work here at this spot? Nobody will. Can we make these things from this spot? Yeah. Uh, yes. So let's try this again over here. It may just be that the crafting spot has a problem. I don't know. Some of that stuff there is tailoring. Um, I don't know if that's the issue. Okay, and now we're going to uh, move the cigarette packs down to the bottom. There we go. Now I'm going to tell Tiberius to work here. Prioritize crafting spot. Will he do that? He will. He'll do it there. I'm not sure why he won't do it here. So we'll delete it here. No, I thought I hit delete. I hit details. I'm not sure. You know, we haven't been making the straw capes either. So I'm not sure why we're not doing any of that over here. Um, is that something else we can add here? No, see, it won't let me add those over here. I don't know. Um, but we are getting some of it done. So we'll just kind of have to see how it goes. But it means probably we can, uh, if this, if nobody's actually going to use this bit. Now this is obviously a cooking thing. Um, but I'm kind of thinking we may as well just delete this spot if it's not going to do anything. We run and grab everything we need. Okay, so that's that's our chafed charcoal. So we've got, but we're gonna do that for a hundred and for fifteen times. Hey, we've got a muffalo. Um, okay. Uh, animals. Yeah, we'll bring the muffalo into the animal area, and I think we're gonna go ahead and get him for obedience. We can use him as a pack animal. 
That's my thinking thinking anyway. Is this is this ours? Yep, Muffalo One, there he is. Uh where's our list? Uh who wants to be a Muffalo? I don't know that it's a safe occupation here. Um uh, the Stallone 96 is the next name on my random name generator there. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna shorten that to just Stallone. All right, that bite that muffalo is now Stallone. There we go. All right, and as I move back over here, the camera wants to roll. So welcome Stallone. You are now a muffalo. You may ultimately be the most, you know, important person in the community here. Oh, my nose, I've got a, got a sneeze here. My nose is running. I think I'm coming down with something. All right. So, and what are we building over here? Sculptures. Okay. We got Rapture and Chris working on sculpture. Have we made, have we completed any yet? I don't see any kicking around. I'm not sure where it would go. Maybe let's make a little uh, storage zone right here. Maybe just for sculpture. And I'm gonna, uh, by the way, I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna go, just drop those on the ground. Probably doesn't matter. He's gotta walk back over here to get those anyway. Uh, let's go clear all. We don't want foods, we want manufactured. Uh, Hmm. Where's art? Items? Art. There we go. We'll put art there. We'll make it uh we'll make it critical. That'll be our critical art storage. Anyway, that way as the stuff gets done, we'll actually see that it's finished rather than have to hunt through the rest of the storage areas. There we go. There's the Stallone happily munching away. We should probably get another bed for him. Uh furniture. How much cloth do we have floating around? Oops. Four ninety nine. I think we're gonna build some very nice animal spots. There we go. Right there. Uh, oops, we need one more. There we go. All the chickens and the muffler will all get their own little spot. There we go. Now, I think we can even give specific spots to each of these. So, Natsuki gets one, and Akimi gets one, and Vivian gets one. And Sissy gets one, and Anya gets one, and Stallone gets one, and I'm going to go ahead and disable or dis deconstruct these. But what I'm going to do is, because we can, I'm going to go ahead and build one over here, and this will be our hospital one. And now we're going to come here and we're going to fix our hay grass zone, our growing zone, and we're going to go ahead and grab that area there. And that will be it. That will be our new little animal barn area. You can go ahead and plant that. At some point, someone will come over here and make our next little hospital one. And that will be our medical bed for the animals. So reasonably close to where our medicine is for our, our people. We could even conceivably add a, an animal bed in here for, the, for them. But I think we're okay for now. How much medicine do we have? 128 in that, two in that. <laughs> so 130. Okay. That's okay. And hauling in some more cloth. I think we're doing okay. I think the, you know, nothing exciting has really happened this episode, and we're losing the green screen as the sun comes in. I get super bright. Hold on just a second. Uh, 
there we go. When I started recording this, it was overcast and rainy outside, and it has since stopped being overcast and the sun has come out, so we have to close the curtain. It's impossible for me to get the lights balanced with the uh, sun coming in the window there. So I apologize, I'm not sure how long that had been going on, but it's fixed now. Hopefully it didn't, didn't destroy too much of the video for you. Oh wait. So, Manhunter Pack. All right, this is our first big, do we ever, we did build our traps. This is our first kind of big uh, event in a while. So let's see. Uh, Manhunting dromedaries. Oh my God, and there's a bunch of them. So they're going to wander through here. So I think what we're going to do is, we do have doors in these. So I think we're going to go ahead, we'll grab our people. And we'll just hit there. Hopefully that'll make sure everybody gets inside. Oh, except we're going to want, actually, we're going to do it this way. We're going to come down south here because I think they're going to be south. And we'll line everybody up over here. And we'll see what happens. Here come our man hunting camels. Oh, and we've got a toxic fallout. The biggest problem with this is that we now have uh, a plague descends. This is going to be difficult for us um, because toxic fallout is going to kill all our food, right? So. I think the first thing we have to do is we have to make sure that we have a roof over the heads of, of these guys. Um, can we do some sort of dried meat? Curry, mochi, dumplings, lavish meal, fine meals. What if we were to build... Okay, first of all, we need to come down here and we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Unforbid those, finish off those, ungrab these guys, um, because we don't have electricity, we can't build a sun lamp to survive this, right? Normally we just go inside, we put a roof over everything, we grow everything inside, and we would be fine. But I think what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go up zone area, we're going to need to expand, uh, build roof area, this is going to have to get a roof over it. And in fact, I think this whole section here is going to get a roof over it, as is this and this. And then right here, we're going to add one too. So if we have to stand out here to fight somebody, uh, we'll be okay. Now, I think we might need to add structure, a wall like here to help hold up that corner. Uh, a roof section over here. Again, probably the same thing. I think it's more, that's probably why I had that there, but let's go ahead. Uh, we're gonna put this back to a build roof area. I'm sorry for those plants that are, are gonna lose their spots there. Um, and in fact, we'll go ahead and delete just this bit of that. Um, so I think that will take care of that at its most basic route, but the problem is, if this lasts too long, there's no way for us to continue to grow food out here. Um, it's just going to die too fast. So I'm not sure how, not sure how we're going to survive. Um, how are we doing for our uh, patties? So we've got some, some wood, well, some charcoal. We don't have wood. Um, how much charcoal do we have? We've got 350. How's that job doing? Uh, oddly enough, we're doing this one before we're doing this one. What do we need? We need rice bran and straw for that. Do I have both of those? Do I need to be making bran somewhere? Momi. Straw, obviously, we're going to make. We've got plenty of that. The question is, how do we get rice bran? Now, my thought is maybe we can, the, the rice will grow fast enough that somehow maybe we'll overcome the toxicness, but I'm not actually sure. Um, okay, so I can't do anything there to do that. How about here? 
Can't do anything there. Where can I actually make bran from? Um... Huh. I'm not sure. Okay, well, since we're right at the end of this video, I will figure out where Bran comes from a little later. We have all these dromedaries, obviously, that we're going to have to pick up. That's a huge supply of meat. The question is, how do we store it? Um, and I'm not actually sure at the moment. So what we're going to have to do is, is I'm going to go ahead and put down a fueled stove here as well. Um, maybe right there. And we'll see if that gives us the opportunity to make some sort of dried meat or pemmican um, that we that will keep for a long time. Do we have pemmican researched? Go juice drug. Hmm, there's something behind electricity there. The question is, what is it? And I can't tell. Maybe it is just electricity and it goes to the nutrient paste in that. That doesn't really help us much. We could do hydroponics. I'd rather not. I'm trying to keep this more or less anti-technology, at least for the moment. Um, hmm. Pemmican. We have pemmican. Okay, so my plan is, at least short term, because this isn't going to go long term, right? The animals are going to die from the toxic fallout as well. And in fact, we've got animals that need to be fed too. Uh, I think for the moment, let's get out of the research tree. We've got plenty of medicine. I think what we do is we take all of these fields and we try to grow rice as quickly as possible. Um... And we're just going to do upland rice for now. Tobacco and everything's great, but we need to get as much food stockpiled as quickly as possible. So I'm going to come back over here and uh, I think we'll leave. We still got plant cut on one. Growing is still fairly high. He's going to mine first. Um, I think all of a sudden that reverses back again. So we'll grow first and then we'll mine. Mining is going to be bad because we're not going to be able to do a lot of it with the toxic fallout. We're just going to have to suck it up and deal with it till it, till it ends. Um, yeah, I think that's probably it for now. But we'll get that built. We'll start making pemmican. We'll get all the animals butchered. We'll do like a forever pemmican. Uh, I'm going to come in here really fast. I'm going to make sure that we are not doing this because I don't want to waste meat on these meals that won't last. It's only going to go into pemmican. And then, uh, oh crap, I don't want to change the hay one. Uh, the hay one we're going to have to leave. No, just, just that. That's going to have to stay hay grass. Because we're going to need hay for the animals. Um, and we've got a fair amount stockpiled, but that's not going to last forever. So, um, we're just going to have to go with it for now. Alright, uh, I hope that's enough drama for the end of the episode for you. Man-eating camels and some toxic fallout. Anyway, we'll come back uh, hopefully Friday and we'll see how this whole thing uh, continues to shake down. Until then, um, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thumb it up if you liked it. Thumb it down if you hate it. Love to hear your comments. And uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.